Well, stopping crime in downtown. It's a problem the city of Bakersfield has been working to prevent for some time. And now you just might see a change. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Peronian joins us live in studio with the details. Hey, Mary. Hey, Michael, that's right. This is a plan that took a year to complete. The city of Bakersfield gave the Downtown Business Association a $50,000 grant to improve security and lower the chances of seeing crime. Because these criminals are smart, man, you know, and they learn. Um, they learn when they can get away with things. But not for long. Downtown Bakersfield is known for its businesses, restaurants, and top hangout spots. And with the crime that the area has seen throughout the years, well, some businesses haven't had much luck in keeping their doors open. But thanks to this grant that the city of Bakersfield is giving the Downtown Business Association, businesses may see improvement in safety. This grant took full swing at the beginning of April by working with City Guard, a security security company. Alan Alvarez, the vice chair for the Downtown Business Association, says he hopes this grant will help cut back the crime rates. And so far, there's improvement. Having somebody on the ground, um, two days a week, we're going to have somebody on foot patrol walk in designated areas. Then having that driving patrol will help, we're hoping will help, you know, slow down and catch some of these people in the act. There's already been some, some incidences where we've caught people. Alvarez says this is a six month grant and once it's over its impact will help them get another one to continue what they've been doing. He mentioned the good relationship City Guard has with Bakersfield police. The quickness of their response will help catch the bad guys much faster. One of the benefits of say a walking patrol versus a driving patrol is they have accessibility right. They can see, they can get to places that when you're driving by, you just might miss. These guys walking around where they're walking through the alley, they can see some of these guys that are hiding out, which otherwise we wouldn't see. Alvarez says while downtown has all eyes turning towards them for crime, there are other areas across town that see it just as bad as they do. Out on my side of town, on the west side where I'm at, we have just as many as windows broken. We have, you go down Ming Avenue and you can see the same thing. Alvarez also mentioned that now that they have more security, they feel even more comfortable having events in that area. In May, they will be hosting the Sound of Bakersfield Music Fest to kickstart the impact that they see in the downtown area. In studio, Mary Pronian, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.